The Picts are rallying around a mysterious knight who might be the last fragment of King Arthur's soul. The druids of the Blackthorn Council reached out to their allies and followers to find out where this gathering will take place. Now that we have a location, we must attack as soon as possible. Greetings, Knights of Camelot. Greetings. Are you the armed companion I was told to expect here? Yes, I am. I've already lost a few warriors, and my scouts warned about a large group approaching us. Well, you don't have to worry anymore. We're here now. The Picts are here! To arms! Stop the painted savages! What's it gonna be? Oh, here's a name. Lorelei? Lorelei? Rowan? Nick? Okay. For king and country. to feed the ravens. Introduce myself properly. Um, well, who are you? My name is Edan. I am one of the sages of the Blackthorn Council. And, good sage, how could you help us exactly? We've already sent out some scouts. They found a bridge not far from here, where the Picts set up a large camp. I believe I remember that bridge. The leaders of the savages are already there. Then I suppose the knights you are looking for must have crossed through. Then we will have to follow him uh, again. I'll join you, but I must leave my warriors here. They will guard the road, hold up Pictish reinforcements, and protect our back. Well, then, that's a good plan. Let's go. Well, what a sorcerer with 140 vitality and 120 hit points. I mean, take Merlin as an example. He has 70 vitality and 30 hit points, and he is maxed out. Holy... Okay. Well, well, now I know why the Picts are gathering here. This rock is ancient and very dangerous, and they have already tapped them. Watch your steps. We are getting close. There isn't... What? Knights! Destroy them all! Kill the guards! Then we must deal with the giant at the bridge! I say that we should ambush that creature! So, he has Thunderbolt and Force Bolt, okay. Whoa, 100 in damage, what the heck? Why is this dude so overpowered? None can stand in my way. I fight for honor. 
I serve the Lord. For the Lord Almighty. Sword or sorcery? See if I could help. I fight for honor. Charge! Allies an area of three to three tiles. The beginning of next turn, 100% weapons dealt to all units in the highlighted area. Skill becomes usable after heroes slain five units. I believe this killing spree counts um, beyond a and one encounter. Hmm. The Lord is my witness. Let's see if I could help. For my Camelot. of the law. Serve the Lord. Sinner 
Justice shall bleed. No mercy for the wicked. I could be of some help, I suppose. Adair, okay. Ah, bone hair? Some of them have names, not all of them. Not the big ones. At your service, my lord. Sorcery. The Lord is my witness. I fight for honor. King and country. For my Camelot. You think I can't fight? for the wicked. We are victorious. This chest shouldn't be here. The warmth of the Lord. 
left some riches to take. This may serve a higher purpose. I fight for life. Time to feed the ravens. Sabotage, blessed mother. For my Camelot. I could be of some help, I suppose. Blessings. Thou shalt not shed blood in vain. The shadows from the past are gathering again. A terrible presence is pushing at the boundaries of my Avalon. I seem to remember this place. The rock will be on the right. With every step we take, darkness is growing. That night we seek must be there. This should not be happening. The rock is alive. Sir Mordred, my nemesis. Wherever I go, you seem to follow. When I find a cause to fight for, you'll try to destroy it. When you find your cause, you will tear down everything to make it real. Your hubris has been your weakness. Your legacy is just a series of failures. I have been feared and despised all my life. But you are the real monster here. Sir Mordred, listen to me. You still don't understand what's happening here. We still might have time to save Avalon. Your madness has no bounds. You are a broken man with grand delusions. Yes, I must save Avalon from you. You're still a fool, Mordred. You're dabbling in matters you can't understand. That doesn't sound like a man, man. What is he trying to save? I mean, he's hiding with the evil giants. That's usually not a good sign. But maybe, maybe the lady of the lake is evil. Maybe we're on the wrong side. That would be odd. It's piercing through the veil of reality, tearing a ragged hole into Avalon from beyond. I can close that rift, but first I must reach the rock. Help me! Your orders? For my camera. What do you want? 
could be of some help, I suppose. I serve the Lord. For honor, sinners shall bleed. No mercy for the wicked. He just died? The heck? I fight for honor. For my Camelot. The Lord is my witness. Let's see if I could help. It worked! I think. I think I can hold back the darkness for a while, but not forever. You must find a way to close the tear. Well, in order to do that, we must find Arthur first. Finding Arthur won't be difficult. He is on the other side of this gate. Ah, uh, you're just telling me that? Well, what's on the other side? The other side is partly in Avalon and partly elsewhere. The threshold to the void. Where colossal shadows are stalking the emptiness, seeking for this hole. Oh, please tell me we can fight some dragon. Oh, oh, can I follow Arthur there? Yes, but make all the necessary preparations before you return to me. I could keep the tear open and the darkness at bay for a while. What's to do? Okay. <laughs> some pretty baubles. The last mag fragment of Arthur's torn soul fled to a crack between Avalon and the void beyond. I mean, maybe it's just, maybe this soul is his reasonable part, and maybe um, the other parts were all madness, and because the reasonable part is small, it's insignificant in the great sum of things, I don't know. The creatures of darkness are gathering on the other side. A sorcerer of the Blackthorn Council sacrificed his life and soul to keep that portal closed for a while, but sooner or later I will have to follow Arthur there. Immune to stun, armor unbreakable. Nah, that's not very good. Alrighty. So Balin has returned, obtained relic. Oh, failed. Pathetic. Well, that's not good. Do we have anything else? Anything? Oh, event. An unlikely envoy. Dungeons of Camelot. A sizable Pictish tribe have mustered the courage, or maybe the wits, to send an envoy to Camelot. These savages are refusing to bow to Baelor, the godly monstrosity who returned from the void between worlds. Wait, what, 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 what? Returned? What the heck? They are offering peace and only asking for one thing in return. To let them follow their traditions, worship the old gods undisturbed. Yeah, accept the offer. Even unlikely allies could make a difference against the Fomorians. Of course. Forced treasure of the Tuatha de Anon. The sage told us of the forced treasure visited some ordered again. Another tale, the Dark One of Avalon. Known as a lair of an evil knight who abducted princesses and fought wandering champions to their deaths. Finally was defeated by a young squire, but the hero made a terrible mistake by taking up the evil knight's sword, slowly turning him into the same monster. The sword is an ancient she relic called the Sword of Dunuada. 
last of its kind, which can only be wielded by a knight worthy of Noir and ruthlessness and ferocity. Ruthlessness and ferocity. Then let's send a Christian tyrant. That should work. Alrighty, so I guess that's it. No more side missions. We did all that, the Red Knight and stuff. So next time we're going for Reckoning.